Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Code Studio. In this video, we'll learn how to update a existing Flutter repository in GitHub. So, if you don't know how to upload Flutter projects on GitHub, then you can check my video on how to upload Flutter projects on GitHub. I have provided the link in the description box. Now, first of all, you need an existing Flutter project which you have already uploaded on GitHub. So as you can see, I have already uploaded this air pollution project on GitHub. Here it is. Now I want to remove this file from my repository. So in my projects, I will go where this file is and I will simply delete it. Now after deleting this file, open your terminal and write git add dot. This will add all the existing files in your existing repository. Now we will write git status command. Well, this command displays the state of the working directory and the staging area. It lets you see which changes have been staged, which haven't and which files aren't be tracked by git. So here as you can see that we have modified our homepage.dart and it has been deleted. Now after this, we will write one more command git diff. Now this diff command is used in git to track the difference between the changes made on a file. Now after this, we will simply write git commit m and we will write a message. So I will write my third commit. Now here as you can see in our UI folder where our user list dot dart is there. Here you can see the commit messages. This is the first commit. And after this function, we will be having my third commit over there. So your commit has been successfully run. Okay. And now and after this to push our or you can say to update this repository, we have to use the push command. Now before using the git push command, we have to first pull this project from the GitHub. Okay, so we will use the git pull command. So this command is used to make a change in repository. It can allow others to view the changes. So now it is used to acknowledge the change that you have made to the repository that you are working on. So simply just write git pull your remote name which is mine is origin and then your branch name which is master. So this git command is a combination of git fetch and git merge. Git fetch which fetches the recent commits in the local repository and git merge which will merge the branch from a remote to a local branch. Now after pulling this repository from our remote branch, now we'll simply push our or you can say we'll simply commit our changes. So now we'll simply write git push and again the remote name and branch name. So, so this git push command is used to transfer or push the commit which is made on local branch in your computer to a remote repository like github. So now our commits have been successfully run and to see these changes we will simply go to our github repository. So just refresh this and here as you can see that now we are having this my third commit message and our user list dart has been gone. So this is how you can update or you can do the commits in your existing repository on GitHub in Android Studio. So thanks for watching and if you find this tutorial informative then please do like and subscribe our channel.